Hey guys, welcome on back to the channel. Thank you as always for being here. Welcome and thank you for being on my level because we're going to listen to level 42. I had to think of a segue. I had to put on my helmet and get on the segue and drive on over. Anyways, we're going to listen to their track Lessons in Love. This is off of their album. I have no idea because I didn't pull anything <laughs> up for this. I guess I should have done that huh? before I started talking. Uh, it looks like perhaps this is off of their album Running in the Family, their seventh studio album. Released in 1987, this particular track was recommended by Productivity Orchard, or Orchard, uh, Tinkler 4, not 3, but 4, Wicked Willis, and Maha 77. So thank you guys for the recommendation. Uh, we have not listened to any Level 42 here on the channel. I've heard a lot about them because I've seen them uh, pop up on the channel, like in the comments and everything, every once in a while. So they're one of those bands that I've... I've I forget about it. Honestly, I don't sit there and write down every single comment and every single recommendation I get. I ain't got time for that. But but at the same time, there are bands that, you know, kind of trickle their way into my mind and I kind of try to remember them, for lack of a better word. So, yeah, I don't know what to expect from the band or whatsoever. Let's go ahead and give them a, a listen, give them a running, and then we'll talk about them and judge them after. Not harshly, gently. Let's, let's go ahead and give it a listen. Let's go. Interesting chord progression underneath it all. Sounds a little like tango-ish, Latin-ish inspired. I like that basing. That kind of steady pulse. Hear it. 
when did I say that this came out? 80 something? Let, let's dive into this a little bit. Let's dive into Lessons in Love. Let me turn my microphone just a peek up a little bit. Uh, all right, this came out 87. Definitely sounds very 80s. I really enjoy that synth bass. Bum, 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 kind of tripping its way uphill. I really like his singing as well. It has that perfect kind of like new romantic kind of style. He's not like a deep voice singer. He's a little higher, but yet he, he holds back a little bit. And I like the way that he sings. Um, he has a very rich voice in here tonally, and I think it fits really wonderfully in there. Uh, the horn blast is fun. I, I see that this is like their top song actually looking on Spotify. So it makes sense that this sounds very singly poppy. It's catchy. You're going to be dancing to this. You're going to be moving to this, singing along to it. Lessons in love. This sounds like a song that would be really, really big in clubs, especially in the 80s. And I can imagine like people with their suave hairdos and like white suits sitting at the bar with like, I don't know, a margarita or like a shot of tequila or something. And they're just like, vibe you know <laughs> i don't know why that's the imagery i get but it is the imagery i get and this sounds like a kind of fun time and i think that the track is really fun i would be curious because this is their seventh studio album and obviously this is a top hit it says that uh it charted in a bunch of places um it, it has some some legs to it uh it reached number three on the uk singles chart entered top 10 in numerous other countries reached number five or i'm sorry number one spot in Spain, Germany, South Africa, Switzerland, and Finland. So it got some it got some legs to it. I would be curious where what's their deep cut? You know, I, I'm always looking for that. Okay, we got the top hit, the single, it's catchy, it's fun, it's dancey. I enjoyed it. What's the get, get me into that swamp? You know, I'm here in Florida. Get me into that swamp land. You know? <laughs> but I did enjoy this uh, a lot. The singer was Mark King on the vocals there. And like I said, I really enjoyed uh, his his contributions there. Lyrically, let's get into this. I'm not proud, I was wrong, and the truth is hard to take. I felt sure we had enough, but our love went overboard. Lifeboat lies lost at sea. I've been trying to reach your shore. Waves of doubt keep drowning me. I do like those last two lines. I've been trying to reach your shore. Waves of doubt keep drowning me. I do like that. I'm, I'm here for it. All the dreams that we were building, we never fulfilled them. Could be better, should be better. Lessons in love. Hey, sometimes through love, whether that love ends or whether it continues, either way, you're learning your lesson, you're gaining some experience, a little bit of an education. For restless eyes, egos burn and the mold is hard to break. Now we've waded in too deep and love is overboard. Heavy hearts, token words, all the hopes I ever had fade like footprints in the sand. So even if reaching that shore, those footprints will fade in the sand. I like that. Homes we were building, we never lived in. Could be better, should be better. If we lose the time before us, the future will ignore us. We should use it. We could use it. Lessons in love. Yeah, good track. I like that a lot. Now, give me, give me into that murky stuff. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Of course, you're more than appreciated. You're, you're over appreciated. More than appreciated. You're appreciated just the right amount. Anyways, like the video before you leave. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for being here. Come on back tomorrow. And I will see you guys later. Bye.